So, good morning! Welcome back to my channel, Kat here. Today I'm kind of doing something I've never done before. In one week, I'm so excited, I'm going back to America. I haven't been back in two and a half years, so it's been a while, and I told myself I'm not going to buy that many books when I'm in America, but let's be real, we all know that I'm going to buy a ton of books. Basically I'm bringing an empty suitcase and then one smaller suitcase with my clothes, but one whole suitcase will be for books, you know? So anyway, I thought on the way to America I shouldn't bring books because one, they're heavy and I don't want to carry them, and two, um, if I read them and I like them, then like I will have carried them there and back. And then three, I want to ha save space like in my luggage for all the books I will bring back to Japan. I keep like an ongoing list of like all the books that I really want to read. I have the list sorted by like rating and by price. And then I was looking up all the books that are seven dollars, specifically on like Kindle. $6.99 for ebook or less. These are all the books that I want to read and that are under $7, like $6.99 or less on Kindle or ebook. So I have 17 of them, so I'm not going to go extremely into depth on them, but I will just give you a little snippet. And of course, I don't have any of them in real life because I'm planning to get them on my Kindle e-reader. But I thought a lot of people might like this video because um, if you are also traveling for the holidays and you're traveling a lot or very far, then it doesn't make that much sense to carry like all of your books with you. So yeah, here are some good deals on Kindle that I'm looking forward to. I'm going to talk about the books from least expensive, so zero dollars, up into $6.99 or like around seven dollars. So let's just get on into it. So the first book that I have on my list to read is actually free. Um, it's Evanfall Volume 2, Director's Cut, by Santino Hassel and Ace. I'm basically going to give you the summary for the first book because I don't want to spoil anything or say anything about the second book. I'm currently reading it, so yeah. If I don't finish it this week, then I will bring it with me on my ebook. Basically, it is in a future post-apocalyptic America, and there is a really deep secret government agency, and it's literally just called The Agency, and their deadliest weapon is a man called Sin. And he is so deadly and unpredictable that he is constantly needing new partners because his partners quit, they leave, or they die under mysterious circumstances. He chooses Boyd as his new partner, and Boyd is basically a civilian. He isn't trained for battle, he isn't trained in like assassinations or maneuvers or anything like that, and He's antisocial, he's really good at making lists and prioritizing things, very like clinical, scientifically minded, and he doesn't really understand like human emotions and like the workings of interpersonal relationships. So the story goes from there. Sin and Boyd together are just one of my favorite pairings. Um, it's kind of reminiscent of Foxhole Court, which I have said in a previous video, and so yes, I highly recommend that. And both of them are free from the author's website, so Volume 1 and Volume 2. I will leave the links down below to them. So moving on into the $1 realm is Mad Girl by Brienne Gordon. So this is an autobiography about dealing with OCD. And actually, she is unflinchingly honest about it, and I've heard a few people talk about this book, how it's funny and sad and also just like you really learn a lot of things that you wouldn't otherwise know. Like she talks about uh, dealing with her OCD and how it has caused alopecia, bulimia, drug dependency, and how she interacts with other people, how she lives her life, some of the like horrific things that she has thought and what she's gone through, and it's also kind of a funny look at it. So moving right along. Number three is The Morning Star by M. Chandler, and it is a contemporary gay romance. So basically you have Simon Drake who is a hotshot FBI agent and he's in control of his own like special ops team and then you have what's his name uh, Jeremy Archer and he is a brilliant art thief and a like English socialite so basically it's a cat and mouse game and I'm really hoping it ends in romance and I know it's a series and I'm really looking forward to that so yeah I was really excited to find out that it's only one dollar on Kindle ebook um, okay, so now we're moving into the $2 realm, and first on this list is Superior by Jessica Lack. Basically, I'm just going to read you the blurb, because this one sentence, like, sold me immediately, and it is, 
A superhero's intern falls in love with a supervillain's apprentice in this star-crossed LGBT YA story. That's all I need to know. Take my money. My two dollar bills. Just take them. So yeah, the next one in the two dollar realm is The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeko. And it's a YA fantasy and it follows T, a bone witch, as she goes to train under a more experienced bone witch. Um, she needs to train to learn to harness her powers because war is imminent or already happening. I'm not really sure. But I've heard mixed reviews about this one, but it just sounds like too interesting for me to not try. So some books that everyone doesn't like or has some problems with, I really like. And then some ones that I love, other people are like, oh, no, that's trash. And I'm just like, yeah, well, I'm trash, so that's fine. Yeah. So moving on to the $3 realm. Number six is The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. This is an erotic thriller and it follows a cam girl who is obsessed with murder and death. She hasn't been in contact with another human in three years because she is kind of afraid of what she will do if she will like murder them and like it. She has to make a choice between possibly saving someone in the real world and going out or staying inside and protecting people from her own murderous intentions. So it just sounds really interesting and it's erotic and it's a thriller. I'm here for it, but I hope there's not too much gore because gore sometimes makes me want to vom a little. So yeah. So next in the $3 realm is a book that was recommended by Jen Campbell, who is one of my favorite YouTubers. I talk about her often. and. It is Under the Skin by Michelle Faber, Michael Faber, Michelle, I don't know, it's M-I-C-H-E-L. Anyway, um, it follows a female driver who's driving, basically cruising in the Scottish Highlands, picking up hitchhikers. And she listens to their tales and she becomes kind of a confidant for them. And it is tagged as erotic and threatening and it kind of is an exploration of where the boundaries of morality and compassion lie. So I think it's really interesting and it's recommended by Jen, so I will probably definitely read this. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, another one in the $3 realm is All the Birds in the Sky by Charlie Jane Anders. So this one follows Patricia and Lawrence, who are childhood friends. In their childhood, uh, they develop a time machine and magic. And then now, as adults, the world is basically disintegrating around them, everything is going to pot. And Lawrence is currently an engineering genius, and Patricia is a highly gifted magician, so they have to come together to basically save the world or destroy it. So I think it will be really interesting. I've heard a lot of really great things about it, so I'm really excited that it is kind of inexpensive. That's really nice. So moving on into the $4 realm. Sorry, I'm just trying to keep it going because there's like 17 of these things. So number nine is Binti by Nnedi Okorafor and it is science fiction. Binti is the first of her people to be accepted to the highest university in the galaxy. So as she sets off, she leaves everything behind and she realizes that the world that she thought she would be going into isn't what she thought it would be. So basically there's a huge war with an alien race uh, that is looming on the horizon and she's very far from home, totally out of her element, and things go from there. So um, I've heard mixed things about it. Some people seem to really love it and some people are like, eh. So I also just really love the cover and I wish that this was a book that I had in real life because it's gorgeous. It's the girl's face and then there's like the orange paint. Um, but, you know, it'll also be fine on ebook. Okay, moving into the $5 realm. Is number 10 is Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson and this was recommended on Epic Reads and it is a P Peter Pan retelling so it basically uh, follows Peter Pan and Tiger Lily's relationship so Tiger Lily is set to marry a horrible man and she has to choose between doing her duty and choosing an unpredictable future with Peter Pan and as that is kind of coming to a head then Wendy appears I've heard that it is a few people's favorite Peter Pan retelling and I do love a good retelling so I'm really interested in it and yes I hope it doesn't break my heart too badly I've read a few books lately that have just been like horrendously heartbreaking so it might but I might also enjoy it you know how that goes so actually the next book is five and a half dollars and it is The Lathe of Heaven by Ursula K. Le Guin and I am a huge fan of Le Guin's writing um, this book is science fiction fantasy, as are most of her books, 
and it follows a man named George Orr who can dream things into reality. And in desperation, he goes to a psychotherapist, but the psychotherapist starts to use Orr's ability for his own means. So I've heard that this is a book that really looks at the consequences of playing God, and it's kind of a comment on our modern society. And I've been meaning to pick it up for so long, I just haven't got around to it. So maybe now is a good time. Like, if you can't read a book on an airplane, you probably can't read that book. Um, because airplane is just like undiluted peace because there's nothing else you can do, there's nowhere else you can be. Yeah, it's great. Um, I'm a huge fan of airplane reading. Okay, moving into the $6 realm are some really famous books. I don't know how much I have to explain them, but number 12 is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. And it's a YA fantasy. Basically, a girl named Blue sees what should be a dead person. His name is Gancy, and he's a rich student at a school named Aglianby, a local private school. And he is on a mission with his other schoolmates, called the Raven Boys, and he needs her help, and things go from there. So I've been meaning to read this book for a very long time. Um, a lot of people say, if you love the Foxhole Court, you'll love the Raven Boys, so I dearly love the Foxhole Court, so I'm hoping to really adore the Raven Boys. Another one in the $6 realm, also by Maggie Steve Otter, is Shiver. So this is a YA fantasy follows Grace, who watches the wolves in the woods behind her house, and a boy named... Sam, who is a wolf in winter and a boy in summer. They meet in summer and what will happen when winter comes. I'm very excited about it. I think I'm going to read The Raven Boys first and if I just love her writing style then I'm totally going to read Shiver after I read that one. Another one in the $6 realm is my 14th choice which is Stolen by Lucy Christopher. So this book follows Gemma, who is a 16-year-old girl, and she is kidnapped from the Bangkok airport and brought to the Australian outback. And actually, her kidnapper is everything the opposite of what you think a kidnapper would look like. He's fit, he's beautiful, so handsome, and he loves only her. So it's an exploration of what she will do under captivity, and will he be able to force his love to be returned. I've heard mixed things about this book. Some people seem to really love it, other people not so much. And I heard that the format is also really interesting. It's epistolary, so um, it's a series of letters. I think she's writing to like us or you or to like her family back home. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm really interested to give it a read. I've read a bunch of books lately that have been like captive novels, which are like Room and The Dumb House. So I don't know. It seems to be like a theme that I have going randomly. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. In the $6 realm, number 15 is Black Hearts by Nicole Casterman. So this book is a fictionalized telling of the life of Blackbeard as a young man. Edward Teach Drummond, which is his name, um, dreams of escaping his betrothal in his life in high society London by returning to the sea that he just came from. But the problem is convincing his father to let him do so. So I know that there is a girl and a love interest involved and that there are hijinks on the sea and basically I'm just yeah, I'm here for it, and also the cover totally, like, swoon. So, yeah, I'm down. Okay, so the last little bit is the $7 books, which are technically $6.99 on Kindle. So, number 16 is Sealskin by Sue Bristow. This is highly recommended by Jen Campbell, who I mentioned earlier. And also, it has super high ratings on Goodreads. It's like 4.3, so I'm intrigued. Um, it follows Donald, who is a lonely fisherman on the Scottish coast, and one night he witnesses a miracle and he makes a terrible choice. It also has to do with the legends of Selkies, which are like uh, Selkie seals that can turn into humans on land, and I'm just really intrigued by it. I think it's going to be a little bit magical, a little bit lyrical, and I hope really just like haunting and beautiful, and I'm really excited about it. That's like at the tippy top of my list. And the last one in this list, number 17, is It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini. So it follows a New York City teen named Craig who is determined to get the highest marks and go to the best school. However, the pressure is crushing. So he actually ends up, he stops sleeping and he stops eating and he has a near suicide experience and then he is checked into a mental hospital. And it is his journey in the hospital finding out why he has the anxiety he does and trying to move toward happiness. And this book, I've heard really amazing things about it and that it has a really good portrayal of what it's like to be in the mental care system in America because the author, Ned Vizzini, also spent time in a mental hospital and so I think it'll be a really poignant read and I'm really looking forward to it. 
So this wraps up my 17 ebooks under $7 video. Um, if you liked it, then give it a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button. And yeah, let me know. What are your plans for summer? Are you going on vacation? Are you going to read any of these books? Have you read any of these books? Which ones should I read first? Because right now, the reason that all of these books made this list that are in this video are like, I want to read all of them. So I can just picture my TBR being like 20 books long. Uh, yeah. So anyways, I hope that you have an amazing summer. I hope that you're going somewhere awesome or not. You're just chilling at home, going to awesome places via books, which is also cool. I hope that you are having an amazing day and I will see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>